Okay, in this question, we have these bars here. We have this y-x axis here, y-axis, we have frequency. The number of times a certain score pops up. The score could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we have these bars corresponding to that frequency. So this bar over here is 2. This bar over here is 4. That means there's 4 number 2s. There's 7 number 3s. There are 10 number 4s. As for 5, it goes all the way up to 16 of those. Hopefully my bars somewhat correspond with the number in terms of the visual representation. So let me make sure that 11 is just a teeny bit higher than 10, which it is. Okay, so let's look at quantity or column A here where they say the average of the 50 values. We want the average of 50 values. It's the big AV for average. And in column or quantity B, we have the median of the 50 values. Now, I'm just gravitating towards the median first because it's easiest to see because it simply means it's the middle number. You have 50 values. The middle number is the one that's basically between 25 and 26. So what does that mean? Well, look at, look at here. Look at 5. We have 16 values here, meaning if we start at number integer value 6, where we have 11, then we add another 16. We're already at 27. So you know the middle one is somewhere around here, between 25 and 26. So the middle is what? Well, the middle median is clearly equal to 5. This point, you can do one of two things. You can just basically sum these up really quickly, which I did in a way. I was kind of just being lazy. I said, okay, I'll just do, do the math really quick and just get an answer. But then it's always nice to step back and say, okay, wait a second. There's got to be a nicer, cleaner, more elegant solution. So yes, you can add those up, all those wonderful numbers, and find the average, which I don't know is necessarily lazy because it did, did take a little bit of time. But here, check this out. This is a fun, clean way of doing it. So let's assume the average is 5. If the average is 5, we have 11 sixes over here. So for us to have an average of 5, we would need 11 fours. Then this would balance out nicely at 5. We have 10 fours, which is one less than the number 6. And so if you just look here, it's slightly skewed towards 5. But then you have to think about it. Look at this. We have all these numbers down here, 1, 2s, and 3s. that are just really pulling this average away from 5. So you can see if we were just to look again at these two three, it would be almost five. It would be slightly teeny bit above five. Bring these guys in, you just pull the average way down, much less than five. And just like that, you can see, aha, the median must be less than five. And so we get answer choice B.